Shalom Aras Tafari. Greetings, my brothers and sisters and others. Um, here we go again, we could almost say. This is a recent case. Um, I think yesterday it actually came into the news um, in here in New York, um, I think Brooklyn. And here's the Daily News online, the website, New York Daily News. And... Um, the caption or whatever reads, uh, woman, should we clarify, a, a black woman um, was shot dead by Brooklyn detective after trying to flee chaotic accident scene by throwing car into reverse. This is, this is what uh, they said the victors always write the history. So this is what the police are saying. The woman is dead, basically. She was shot dead. Now, um, we could say, here we go again. This is just another case of um, murder or perhaps some way called police brutality. Or There's a whole bunch of things people will say to kind of feed into this case or to dismiss the case. But... What is so very interesting, it says, okay, the, the small type says the woman had blown three red lights, hit a minivan, and then tried to escape. Right? That's what the police report. So here it was published Thursday, June 14, 2012, right? And it was updated June 15. 2012, right? So here, here's one of the um, one of the photos of the scene right here. Right? This is one of the photos of the particular scene here. I think this is Church Avenue, right? And it's the top story, most read um, story so far, and it's been playing in the news. But um, basically. Uh, uh, this is, you know, a lot of folks will look at this, and when we first saw this particular story, people say, okay, why, uh, Ross, why this particular story right here? Well, it, it's, it, it, it kind of speaks to what the prophecy says concerning the lost sheep. But see, this is like, a, this is like what happened, in a sense, to, um, no, this is not like really any other type of situation that happens to any of the people actually. I mean we can compare some of the things so forth and so on, but this is like this is like some form of um the genocide in slow mo. This is like some um mystery holocaust in a sense. This is just one particular element. But yet the scriptures, the holy scriptures has told us and warned us and we can even say prophesied to us there'll be days like these. Now it says the police here in this particular scene right here that you that you see that police right here they they're investigating the scene right after a 23 year old named Chantel Davis. They didn't publish any picture but what we did was look at some of the mug shots um, there's some sites of mug shots so forth and so on and we think there's one particular um, mug shot that seems to fit the age and name description of a 23-year-old. You know, now they're trying to say that she has she had a criminal history, and, and perhaps no doubt about that. They say that she had um, this particular, you see the stolen Toyota Camry was stolen. They said that it was carjacked, that she had carjacked someone previously and that she had a criminal record now there's a there's, there's a brother out there that has a has a has a channel we caught a couple of his um vids and he was talking about how the, uh, the black woman you know the black girl the, the the black females are beginning to um um imitate um the crime the behavior of the so-called black male, in other words, being more violent and more criminal. Now, of course, some would say we're rushing to judgment on this. No, we're not. 
we're, we're not rushing to judgment. We are seeking to judge the facts of this particular case and to put this into perspective with everything else that we are witnessing. So we're not seeking to judge, but rather we're not seeking to condemn. We're not seeking to condemn the dead or condemn this um, young black 23-year-old um, woman, uh, Chantel Davis. So this is not condemnatory. In fact, based on the information that the New York City police who've been doing this stop and frisk that has been um, ongoing debate up here in the news where um, black and Latino um, males, but mainly black males, probably Latinos who look black, but anyway, black males who look like so-called gang members are being stopped and frisked. They said this is because of the violence. Bloomberg went to some Baptist black so-called churches and, and he spoke about, you know, de in defense of his um, police department's New York City Police Department's policies. But some say this particular case right here is just another example. Now, we know there's been many other um, examples because when we first started to look for this particular story, because we wanted to get some more information, we saw in one particular news clip that someone had a video of this woman. Um, they blurred it out because it was said to be very um, bloody, you know, um, very shocking, horrific. So they blurred it, but they showed um, this um, one um, dreadlocked man with a cell phone camera who had recorded the scene of the woman um, in, a, in, I think, face down, perhaps, in, 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 in home blood or I, I don't really know, but you probably can't tell, but they said it was a bloody scene, basically, after they had um, shot. And there's a lot of description, too, with some of the clips that have been on the local news um, stations. But this is not an isolated incident vis-a-vis -vis, um, so-called police, um, so-called peacekeepers, police officer shootings of unarmed um, women and of unarmed people. Police shootings and killings. I mean, we're not going to go through their particular criminal history. Yes, it's obvious that these are crimes being committed, but because of this present state of um, of 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 delusion, you know, we're living in a, a, a delusion. You know, like they said, the so-called matrix. You know, we're living in mystery Babylon. We're living in chaos. They talk about a chaotic scene. This whole thing, this whole civilization, this whole system of things that we're living in is chaotic. You know, and that justifies crime. Then, you know, then then brace yourself. Then 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 watch and pray. Then then get prepared. Then commit Jah's word to your heart and your mind for the days like these. But um, in looking for this particular, this, this story right here, we had um, Googled, and we, this is an uh, example of our Google right here, and of course, that's the, that's the story right there, front and center, you know, this is what we're showing you right here, it says a Brooklyn NYPD detective shot and killed an unarmed woman after she blew three red lights so from so on, she hit a minivan, tried to escape by driving in reverse, the police said. Now, the witnesses, they said there were witnesses, both who saw what happened, as well as those who had heard the shots and saw the aftermath, you know, saw various points, you know, various parts of the, the, this whole scene, you know, various scenes of this whole incident. Um, well, they said that she had carjacked someone, right? So this story, we also went to the Wall Street Journal, right, and the Village Voice blog. And then we saw this story first before we narrowed our search for, for like, New York and for the particular keywords. When you hear these news stories, there's a particular keywords you should pay attention to. So let's, uh, let's do this right here. Here we go. So this is another case that was on the YouTubes. We didn't see anything on the YouTubes about this, so perhaps we have to research it 
um, especially that video. Uh, I don't know whether they would censor this or whether they would show it. We see this in third world countries all the time, but we don't know whether they would show exactly what happened, what the people who witnessed this saw. You know, and if they had their cell phone cameras, you know, they have um, freedom of speech and even the press to, you know, record these things and to publish them, put a little warning that this is very graphic. But it, it's important that we see it as it is. But but now the cover-up is working. But let's look at some of the other cases. We have cops sh shoots unarmed woman, motorist to death. I think she had rolled up the window, allegedly, in this particular case, and the police shot her to death. Here, police brutality, scumbag cops shoot and kill. I think this is probably connected with the same woman for rolling down her car window. Well, look what's going on here. They say for rolling down her car window. You see this right here? For rolling down her car window. Then up here it says shooting um, um, unarmed woman motorist to death for rolling up. See these kind of contradictions in the story? You know, and, and, and the only one that gets, um, um, that, that suffers any, any, any real punishment, if we can call it punishment, is the dead. Now over here you see where eight... Uh, LAPD um, police officers shoot and killed unarmed. Now, it's connected with New York, and New York and, and, and Los Angeles is a kind of connection going on between the NYPD and the LAPD, even in their police commissioners, which is also very, very um, interesting. So when people think these are isolated incidences, we can't even make that connection between, I think, is Safer, uh, Safer, who's out there in California, and he used to be here in New York as the police commissioner, and even with this present um, police um, commissioner. But if we go further down, we see um, either the same story or other stories. Now here, unarmed black woman, um, this is Chicago. So we have Chicago, all the big cities where there's the highest concentration of ghettos. I mean, we can call this a holocaust, even a genocide, similar to what happened with the, with the so-called European Jews in Europe. But there's one key difference, that the lost sheep, most of the lost sheep, so-called black people, Negroes, blacks, and coloreds, with these foreign European um, names still carrying around their former slave masters' names, they don't even know who they are. So they don't even recognize this good news, this gospel, this glorious gospel of the King of Kings, the Maui, Haile Selassie and his Christ, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos. They don't make that connection. You know, they don't make that connection. Of course, you see here, here is the, the Trayvon Martin, what happened in Trayvon Martin death. And if you've been following that particular story, you can see how interesting that is you know his wife um um zimmerman's wife they put her in jail because they were lying i mean all these things coming out that shows you their character you understand but still they're going as slow as molasses you understand to basically come to the conclusion that all the evidence is pointing to you know but they're putting out a lot of false evidence to try to justify you know, where they even try to say, well, they found a little marijuana, you know, saying marijuana dust, you know, in, um, you know, uh, in uh, Trayvon, or he was something with school or something, you know, any kind of um, uh, diversion, using all kinds of diversion. So it's very clear just, just in looking up police, here, police shoot and killed unarmed woman, comma, this week. We just want to see, well, just from this particular week, because everything is, you know, kind of put into categories and according to algorithms on the Internet search. So we don't want to go over, you know, we want to narrow our range. We don't want to uh, look at uh, the broadest scope, because when, when you look at the broadest scope, you know, you clearly see something is seriously wrong. And what, what, what is going on is excuses are being made for violent and criminal acts when they're done by so-called law enforcement officers. Now, we're not, in this particular latest case, um, 
it, it does appear, if the reports are correct, that this particular um, black woman had her set of problems. You understand? But the, the, you see, there's a bigger picture that black people, so-called lost sheep, we we know them as lost sheep. They call themselves blacks, Negroes, blacks, and coloreds, or niggers, blacks, and coloreds. You understand? So-called Afro, African hyphenated um, Americans, right? Um, and and this is the case right here with I think Rob Marley. Rob Marley. He is the um, he is the the bl the black youth who who was who went to into his house to go to the